up, you guys? guys? Welcome back to another vlog with the R&B fam. We're back. We're yes. gone for like a couple weeks. As always, you guys, we'll try to post like two to three times a month for you guys just because I still want to keep this channel alive and going. And plus, like, why not show my little family? You know, I know we have the Model Twins channel going on, which is the whole family combined but this is like my little family right here everybody so. always wants to see like everybody's dynamic like within their own family so we're like you know what let's just keep it going yeah so yeah if you guys see us pop in every now and then just know that this is always going to be a routine for us we're, um, we're trying to get better though we, we try to yeah we are stuff or do it but you know things get in the way sometimes but we can't use that as an excuse anymore so yeah we gotta keep it going no, yeah, most definitely. It's not going to be an everyday thing, but we are going to try getting better at this. Also, shout out to Laura's Boutique. That's where I got this top at. It's so snatched and tight. Like, I love this everyday shirt. Shout out my boy Sean Nose. Check him out on IG. He comes up with crazy stuff. <laughs> no, we don't shouldn't be like me. Shout out Breakout. Oh, we were trying to promote his clothing. But I got to. You do it. Why can't I do it? It's okay, because people would want to know. So, um, But, um, so yeah, you guys. So, today... I just wanted to vlog for you guys. I want to update you guys. Josiah and Jaden are not here with us. They are with their dad for the next two to two and a half weeks. Um, Dude, this house feels like a ghost town without the kids. Yeah, like, this it is... It feels so weird, like awkward. Like, you know what? Like, we like... Even though they argue and, and we have to come down and regulate and tell them stop doing that, like, we kind of miss that. It's weird. Yeah. It's like, like empty It's so quiet, vibes. I feel like. Yeah, like we could hear every crack in the house and Brittany's like tripping out <laughs> thinking somebody's breaking in or there's a ghost in here, so. I miss my babies so, so, so much. I've never been away from them for this long. I want to see the max I've ever been gone from them is one week, um, but never. And they left like nothing. That. They weren't even tripping. Yeah. I was, and, I, we were kind of mad. You guys, guess what? I texted, I texted them and I asked them if they're homesick and they told me that they're not. So I'm like, what the heck? Like, that breaks my heart. I'll give them, an, I'll give them another week. Watch, I know. I think in a week they'll probably get homesick. But um, I do have to share my kids. So um, this is their break. They get one month off. They're on track. So they get one month off. So I decided, well... I didn't really get to decide, but I'm like, go ahead, like, you know, you can have the boys. For you gotta be fair with everybody. You can't yeah. just, uh, as long as we want them all the time, but you gotta be fair with all parties involved, so. Yes, exactly. You have to be fair. And um, I don't know if you guys seen the Mono Twins channel, but we are going to Cancun. So that is gonna be a part of Josiah's birthday gift. So I'm so excited. We finally get to take the boys on vacation to Cancun. It all worked out, guys. I know co parenting is hard, especially traveling outside the country was always so hard for me and um, for both of us to agree on stuff. But it's finally gonna be in the works and it all worked out. Also, thank you guys so much to you guys as well for making this happen um, and just thank you for supporting us overall through everything yeah the boys are beyond excited over that trip like they're, they're not even talking about the trip to be honest they're talking about just being on a plane so you can only imagine when they get there <laughs> and see how the water is like they always i show i showed them videos and they're like no i don't believe it's that clear or i don't believe there's iguanas there and the, oh man I know at every resort there's like a shit ton of iguanas everywhere, so they're gonna be tripping off of that. Guys, I'm so sad because we had to take down our Christmas tree. I told Amiro let's take down all the decorations because it's just time. I'm sad. I normally like to have everything up. You usually have it until like May. No. <laughs> I you. wish. This is like something wrong with you and Christmas. I wish we could. I'm like I love Christmas so much. I'm so ha so sad that the holidays. You're be so pissed off when this shit's gone. You're gonna make me want to put it back up. Watch. I know. I I feel like I love the lights. Every time the lights turn off, I'm like, babe, please let's turn on the lights. Like we need the lights. And that's the first thing my mom noticed yesterday. Remember? What did she say? The tree. She's like, oh my god, you guys have a hella nice tree. Oh, she said that? Yeah. Guys, so Ramiro's mom came just for one night. Not even one. It was like eight hours. Yeah. Because there was no direct flights. Um, From Mexico. She went to Mexico, and she was trying to get back to SAC, and there was no direct flight to SAC. And then my mom never has a, a returning flights because of her work. She's a business owner, so she doesn't know when she needs to come, if there's a lot of work, if there's not. Mm -hmm. And uh, she'll know like the day before. She'll be like, Mijo, grab me tickets right now. Like four hours before the plane takes off, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> So she yeah. came by, stopped for eight hours, and then bounced. And then left in the morning. Miss, so it was it was good seeing her. Um, just for a few hours, we probably spent like what two hours with her. Mm -hmm. Two hours, but she did bring back some goodies. You guys, I want to show you guys what she brought us from Mexico. Where are they at, right, babe? Uh, we got the Royals de Guayaba. 
These are pretty good. She brought us this. I've never tried this, but I think my grandma would like this. So I think I want to take this to my mom. I, I want to try it though. I don't know what the hell these are. I'll tell you. I that. know. I, I don't know what this is. The middle was all like, this is a vibrator. Like, what's fine? Well, shit. I don't know what it was. I'm like, what? <laughs> And then she brought my mom always gives me I like I don't like the tequila. I'm grateful that she brought it, but she bring oh, I have babe. like I have like eight of these same ones. And she's like, This is my favorite one. I'm like, Could you bring me one that I like? I paid you, please. So she brings me the same What's one. What's a thought like, that oh. counts, babe? No, it's tequila. You always say you don't have no um what uh, do you always say? Like how you say don't Julio is the only thing you drink. I don't care what I drink as long as it's you tequila. don't discriminate. Hell no, I'll drink anything. I'll drink E and J. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Guys, I'm having a cup of wine. I feel like, I don't know how I feel since the boys are not here. I'm so used to having the boys, you guys. So, their father does not live in SoCal. He lives in Sacramento, so I have the majority of the time. So I feel so weird. Imagine not having your kids for a long period of time. Um, so like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm always kept so busy because of the kids. Huh, babe, I feel like we haven't really been that busy anymore. We've had so much downtime lately. No, because they keep us on our toes all day. Yeah, they keep us on our toes. So, me and Amina are just chilling. Mo's not here either. She hasn't really been home. So, it feels like it's just at home for me and Amina. This is way too big of a house for us, too. We need a downsize, like a one bedroom. <laughs> I do, actually. Honestly, I feel like I would feel so, like, yay. Me and Amino are just chilling at home. We might take the Christmas tree down and stuff. So we just thought we'd just vlog at home. We are going to go to Breeze later because we are going to be making pambasos at her house. So I feel like that's what's left for me today. Um, I do want to start getting some clothes for Cancun. I did get like a couple things from Fashion Nova. I also got the kids some clothes from Old Navy already. I want it. Babe, I want to take Mama to get her hair done before we go to Cancun. Oh yeah, we got that little hair spot she likes to go to, so. So we'll yeah, I want to take it. I want her to feel like her at her best. I want her to feel so good about herself. I want to also also take her shopping for some clothes. So I'm excited. Yo, so I've been getting everybody to. Everybody's been hitting me up, telling me to prank Brittany, but I'm like, I'm too scared to tell her or have somebody text me. And pretend it's another girl because I'll probably get my ass beat. Um, two, I don't like doing that because that, nah, I'm not trying to deal with none of that. So, like, I was thinking she knows that I miss my family so much. And uh, I've been planning on pranking her, telling her that I want to move back. I've been real quiet about it. Like, I never speak on that because I know it's, like, a touchy subject for her because she understands how I am with my family. And I understand how she is with her family. I understand our work here is now and her work here is now. So... She understands that, but sometimes I get in my little moods where I'm just like, man, like I miss everybody, so I want to go back. And uh, she like, she, I mean, she, she, I don't think she panics a little bit, but she feels like, dang, like, what am I doing? Am I not enough? But she's way more than enough for me. I love her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. So I do want to just prank her on that, tell her that I'm going to move back to SAC and see how she reacts. I don't know how she reacts because it, it can be night and day with her she could take it good or she could take it bad she could she could bust out in tears you just don't know where you're gonna get with her so i want to see what, what's gonna happen and uh i want to hide the camera she's gonna go to the mailbox right now um because she's been waiting for something in the mail so i'm gonna set up the camera and then post up in the living room watching some sports and have her sit down tell her i want to have a real talk with her and then see how she reacts i just want to see what she gets this is the best you guys are gonna get for me because I, I i'm too scared to you guys send me some good pranks, but man, those pranks are going to make me end up in the hospital or something. So, nope, this is the most you guys are going to get. Let's see how it goes. All right, you guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but I uh, hid the camera like on top of a blanket and another blanket right by the staircase, right on top. And she's like hella clueless when it comes to this stuff. So I'm sure she won't notice. Hopefully she doesn't notice, but she should be coming back any second now. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down because that's where I was chilling. And uh, let's see her reaction. Let's see what she does. Let's see if she spazzes it out. Let's see. Well, I mean, it's closed. 
Huh? I just, I, I don't care about clothes as long as you mm -hmm. know what's covered. Babe, you never want to see the new makes that anything that, it just me, you never want to see. Well, you're going to wear it regardless. Like, when you show it to me, I don't know if it's like a fly hat or well, like I a shirt. But I want to um, do matching outfits in my room. All right, that's fine. I already got some. Not matching. I don't, I don't know about matching outfits, but we, we'll go with the same body because I cannot find stuff that you match. Okay. But, like, you know how I want, like, the clothing shirt. I want to talk to you real quick. What? Well, it's nothing bad. Well, I don't know if it's bad for you. I don't like this conversation because you... Well, you know, you always tell me when if I, well, if I feel something, and tell you right away, right? You always tell me that. Are you cheating on me? Fuck, no, no. That's not, no. Nothing like that. Okay. Fuck, come here. Because I, you always... What the fuck, babe? What's wrong with nothing, you? Nothing, just come here. Why are you acting like that? Come here. When do you ever do this to me? My, when I want to talk to you, I always say, come here. It's nothing different, but... Like, you saw how my mom came yesterday. I only get to see her, like... I don't even get to see her that much. I don't get to see nobody. Not my nephew, not nobody. Godsons, cousins, everybody. Like, everybody's gone. Like, I, want, I wanted to see if I can live here, like, one month, and then go back one month. And, like, we can still work and do our stuff. I don't know how you can, have to, like, if you're able to handle that, but it's because you can get your family here, and I get jealous. And I'm like, man, I wish I could spend time here. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, like, I don't get to do shit with my family. I know, but, like, I told you the other day, like, it's But it's been, one month. One month over there, one month here. No, I know, but, I, like, I told you, like, that's not, I've done long distance before, and I feel like it's not for me. Like, if you need to take time off for, like, a week or two weeks, whatever, go for it. Like, I always say, like, do that, and this is why I told you, like, I don't want to be, like, Wasting my time or anything like that. Wasting your time? What? You're not wasting your time. No, just... I'm talking about because like, that's what you want. Like, what if I really, I think I know where that's going. Like, one month here, one month there. One, like, what is that? It's not living like a life. Like, we're supposed to be like a family. We could be like truck drivers if you think about it. Like, truck drivers do that all the time. And they what are you talking for, like, about? Years. Papa would always be gone and then come home. No, I. That's not like. You're literally on a whole other topic that you're not even a freaking church either. Well, I'm just giving you like examples. No, that's not even, that, that doesn't even fit in our description. I know, but you say you, you, you don't get mad if I, like, if you told me if are you ever feel like leaving, this and that. I'm not yes. leaving you, but I want to, I want to just go for like. I told you like, if you want, like, if you need time off, like, I never want to make you stay here with me at all times. Like, if you need time off and you want to go see your parents, your friends, your family, whatever. Well, dude, it's like, not fair. Oh, you get to see yours all the time and I don't. Yes, and I understand. That's why I always tell you, like, if you want, do that. Like, go for a couple weeks. Like, I don't care. But, but you're talking, when you're you say, talking about, okay, how long do you want to keep this up for one month, one month here? Like, when has that ever even crossed your mind? Well, like, I have, I have my stuff that I got to get done over there. I got stuff that I got to get done here. So, I'm like... If I split it, I could even do like, like two weeks. I feel like there's something else that there's something else because like what else could it be? Like, are you talking to someone or? No, I just miss my family. I'm just like. Because I feel like that this this would never be you for you to say that like you want to be gone. Like, is this long term or is this just you just want to be gone for one month? Because you can leave for one month if you want. I don't mind, but. And you're trying to Babe, this for how if long? If I leave for one month, you'd be pissed already. That's why I like to talk to you beforehand and let you know. But, like, I'm not saying this will be for everything. I just want to try it out, see how it goes. Like, I'll go for a month, month and a half if I need to. I feel like that's not, like, fair, though. Like, you can't just... All flights, choose. look, I can you fly... Can I, can, I can get flights all day. I'll get a flight every weekend. I could be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, like... And go back and handle my stuff over there. Okay, so what about work here? Well, those days that I come, then I'll do my work here. That it doesn't work like that. You know how this works. It's not like you can just be gone and then. Well, like, how about if you give me a set schedule and then, like, we know what we have to get done and we'll get it done. I'll be here, but I gotta get the stuff done over there. And then my dad's old as hell, so I gotta help him out. Um, he's like trying to get all his stuff ready to retire. So I don't know, but I, don't I feel like you're confusing me. Like I don't understand you. Like. I just want to go for a little bit. I miss, I miss home. Okay, like, that's fine. I told you, like, if you're, if you want to be gone and you want to see your family, cool, like, go. Like, I know I spend time with my family all the time, um, but I don't, I don't get it. Like, 
go with your family. I just don't see the need for you to be gone for one month and then one month here and then one month over there and then one month here. Like that is not stable what? at all. And then like we just talked about like wanting to try for a baby and stuff and then like how is that even gonna be how is it how is it so we got like get, how am I supposed to take you serious? We'll just start doing it on, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday if I come down. What are you talking about? Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Like have, trying to have a baby. And oh. then, once we have the baby, listen. You call me so much. If you get pregnant, I'll move here for good. I will I won't go. Oh, so now I have to have a baby so I can chop you. Well like there like there what am I gonna do? I can't just leave a baby and be like, hey, I gotta balance it. I'll have my parents come out here now. Move your hand off of me. Well, you don't gotta get mad. You said every time. No, I'm not playing because that's so fucked up. I never do shit like that to you. Well, where the fuck are you gonna go? I know, but like, I don't like, I don't do stuff that you're trying to do to me right now. Like, I don't get you. You're confusing me. I don't know what you want. Like, you need to like speak up. This is why I always told you, don't waste my time. I'm not wasting my time. Yes, you are. Don't get mad, dude. <laughs> Look, come here. You, you doing this is my. You always tell me to talk to you. You always tell me to talk no, to you. No, but you're being weird as fuck. I'm tell you the truth. The truth is, I love you. And you just got pranked. Yep. You just got pranked. Love it. You stupid fucking ass. You almost broke my nail. Well. You hit the camera on the stairs. Yeah, well, look, look, I knew your ass wasn't gonna see. Oh my god. And this one wasn't bad. Like, everybody's been bugging for me to prank you. And I was gonna do a worse one, but I was. Oh my god. I told them I'll get my ass beat if I do one, like, involving another girl. Like, we do not play with that shit around here. Oh my god, thank god you didn't do something like if that. If I did I that swear shit. To god. <laughs> you guys, I'm not a violent person. I'm not, but. Sometimes it, it, you need to get a little violent when stuff like that happens. And I'm scared. I don't even wanna test your ass with that. Violent. I am scared. Well, I swear I can't, but I swear I never, I never thought I was getting pranked because I'm like, what the fuck? But then I'm like, why? I knew that wasn't you. I'm like, you don't, like, why would you say that? But like now I thought about it, I'm like, damn, you know what? I'm going to do this tomorrow because my mom came. I can use that. My mom came out here. And then somebody, some of your fans sent it to me and said, that'll be a good one. Because I told them I'm not doing wow, that. Wow, you guys were in on this. I cannot believe you guys were trying. My heart dropped. Man, babe, if I would have done the ones they were recommended, I would have been fucking dead. Like dead, like I, I, I can get you back. Yeah, right. You got what the fuck? You graffitied my whole truck. Like, what more? What get back was that? Was the worst shit ever. Like, I don't know, but watch. Prank wars is now on. You guys DM me some freaking pranks because I'm not letting him side with this one. This one was not even bad. It was yes, like it was. you don't even give a fuck about me. You didn't cry or nothing. Yeah, babe, we literally down here exposed. We could have done a whole freaking video on that. I don't care, but you you didn't even cry. Why First of all, let's flip. Me? I'm gonna flip this shit on you. You didn't cry. You didn't give a fuck. You're just like, no. Actually, no. I was gonna spaz the fuck out. Why would I cry? Whatever. I forgot I'm on camera. Yeah, guys. That was the other side of me. The light side of her, we we it really didn't scratch the surface at all. But because it I was, was not it was it. about to get there, so that's why I had to tell her. I'm like, fuck but this. Do you feel like you want to move back to Zach? No, fuck no. What the fuck am I gonna do over do there? You want to stay here with me? Of course. Look at this shit. You think where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna find this? Nowhere. All right, guys. So uh, we gotta get a needle back. It's payback because I'm not gonna need this. But my, mine was really light. Like I it had to be careful. Light. Like this one's not even that good. Like I can come up with better, but you want you're gonna kill you're me. Talking about Wanting to basically live here for six months and live in Sac for six months. You like my living like a truck driver? <laughs> no, because that literally made no sense. Well, I mean, I was like stuttering because this is hard. Like, I don't know how to get into character, so I'm like, fuck, let me try something. <laughs> my heart dropped, but then in a way, I'm like, he has to be freaking playing with me. He has to be playing and with me. And I never hit her with the less talk. Never. Yeah, I never. So That's the, not really me. Yeah, but yours are weak. You'll be like, I'm mad that you didn't clean me. What? You didn't come out to eat with me. You don't like me anymore. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Say, you don't like me no more. I said, I mean, don't be throwing dead on everything. Hell no, that's yes, you do. You're a little sensitive. Oh my god, you guys. So, we're going to be headed off to Bree's house. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I was going to vlog the rest of the day, but I feel like with this whole prank video. No, it's funny because had a whole, we had a whole concept of a vlog today. Yeah, because uh, like, always, I always talk to the middle and I tell him what we're going to vlog about. And um, it would have been worse because if I would have told her get ready, we're gonna vlog, 
that's for sure not me. Like, that's always Britney saying that. So, like, yeah, she would have been like, him. he's going to do some sketchy shit. So, I'm like, you know what? Let's, she had already started this morning with, uh, let's do this, let's do that. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me start my little plan. Yeah. But, like, I hope I get better at doing this shit. Like, that one's pretty funny, but... Actually, I give I you props for that I one, I give you Because, uh, Ramiro, I always tell him, like, babe, like, help me. Like, let's um, be more active on, on it's YouTube. It's because I'm, I'm, like, really nervous when it comes and to, like, I'm, grabbing I, the camera. Yeah, I give you props for actually c coming out of your comfort zone and actually doing something that like that. That was hard. I would have never imagined Ramiro pulling a prank Fuck, I wish ever. I would have done a better one then. I should have done the girl oh, one no. and see what happened. Oh, ugh, that would have never been posted I would, on, this, I had already on told, YouTube. I had, so. I, had already, I had already told your sister, like, hey, do you think it's a good idea if I um, change, like, your phone number? Oh, like, well, to a you different just let me know. Well, just I don't care. Me. I'm not doing that shit ever. Literally, that's what we were supposed to do today. Give you yeah. guys a vlog of our whole day. So, we'll probably do another vlog soon. I've been telling them we don't really want to go to the snow. I, did, I don't want to go without the kids, but it's like... By the time they get back, we're going to be going to Cancun. So, we could... The snow is, like, fast. Well, it's a well, fast trip. Yeah, well, we, what we got right now is that it's been snowing like crazy out here. So, like, we want to get... Like, let's go to the snow, and then when the kids come back, when we come back from Cancun, we can take them again. Yeah, remember, they like the slide things, and we didn't go till March last time, so we should be good. Yeah. We'll take them. We just got to get everything ready. You guys might see a snow vlog from us soon. I'm so excited. I also been wanting to go to the Callejones. So well, I'm hopefully, hopefully we do that. Um, Maybe we can in vlog a couple weeks. That. Yeah, we want to vlog that. That'll, That'll be, be pretty cute. fun. Yeah. I could show you guys like my purchases that I get from the Callejones. But okay. Well, anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this prank. Actually, don't enjoy it because. Why? Well, it was it wasn't that. even that good. Like fuck. Like I wish Actually, I did better. Actually, yes, you were. You're being no, an asshole. No, and then I start. I, my voice started cracking when I was talking to you because I started thinking about the camera being hidden. I actually what I actually did want to crack a tear. Man. I wish I'm gonna see if I can like zoom into my. I I swear <coughs> I wanted to because I'm like what the fuck. Anyways, um, yeah, guys, Ramiro does not want to move back to Sacramento. We no, are here yeah. for good. Do a heart with me. Best friends. Best friends. Okay, guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I need a haircut.